Okay, so exercise 1.2, first question, state whether the following statements are true or false. And we have to justify our answer also. Okay, so in that first statement we are having is every irrational number is a real number. What do you say? It is true or false? See the answer for first one, it is true. And what is the reason? We have to also justify our answer. The answer is true. What is the reason? What is the reason? Because rational numbers and irrational number together form the set of real numbers, correct? So for first one, the answer is true. The reason is all the rational numbers and irrational numbers together make up the collection of real numbers okay so we have to mention the reason also yes second one what is the answer for second one Is it true or false? Every point on the number line is of the form under root m, where m is a natural number. It is false. What is the reason? What is the reason? Yes, yes, you have to write it in CW. What is the reason? The square root of any natural number is always positive and can never be negative. So there are infinite numbers between root 2 and root 3 and all these points can be represented in the form of root m where m is a natural number. Negative number can can't be in the form of under root m correct okay the square root of any natural number is always positive and can never be negative. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Ridhim, I'll send it after the session. Okay, what about the third one? Third one is again, every real number is a irrational number. 
अब रियल नंबर के अंदर रैशनल नंबर भी आते हैं इेशनल नंबर भी आते हैं तो क्या रैशनल नंबर इेशनल नंबर होंगे नो इट इज फॉल्स so third one the answer is false since real numbers include both rational number as well as irrational numbers so every real number cannot be an irrational number so these are the reasons for all the three true or false ओके यू विल हैव टू राइट एज इट इज इन द सी डब्ल्यू okay then we'll start the next question question number 2 okay now what they have asked in question number 2 are the square roots of all positive integers irrational if not give an example of square root of a number that is a rational number so what do you say first tell me the answer are the square roots of all positive integers irrational the answer to this is no the answer is no for the first question the answer is no now what they have asked in the further part if not give an example of square root of a number that is an irrational that is a rational number okay so no the square root of all positive integers cannot be irrational what is the definition of irrational number first tell me what is the definition of irrational number what is the definition of irrational number any number which cannot be written in the form of p by q that is an irrational number where p and q are integers okay so ठीक है रूट टू का स्क्वायर रूट अगर हम लोग लेंगे तो वो इेशनल नंबर है रूट थ्री का भी हम लोग वैल्यू निकालेंगे तो वो भी इेशनल नंबर है बट अगर हम लोग रूट फोर अगर निकालेंगे तो तब हमको रैशनल नंबर मिलेगा यस और नो सो हम लोग बोल सकते हैं नो द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ऑल पॉजिटिव इंडिजर्स कैन नॉट बी इेशनल क्योंकि कुछ का इेशनल आ रहा है कुछ का नहीं आ रहा है ओके सो वॉट वी कैन राइट फर्दर नाउ for example under root 4 ka value kya aata hai 2 aur 2 kya hai ye rational number hai under root 9 ka value kya aata hai 3 3 is also a rational number under root 16 ka value kya aata hai 4 4 is also a rational number here 2 3 and 4 are rational numbers
ओके यर टू थ्री फोर आर रैशनल नंबर्स तो सारे पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स का अगर हम लोग स्क्वायर रूट लेंगे तो हमेशा हमको इैशनल नहीं मिलेगा ओके समटाइम्स विल गेट रैशनल नंबर ऑल्सो जैसे कि हमने अगर अंडर रूट फोर अगर लिया तो टू होता है अंडर रूट फोर एंड दैट इज अ रैशनल नंबर ओके इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी Yeah, under root one is also one. It is also a rational number. One का square भी one होता है. Under root one का value भी one ही होता है. Okay, is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? सर स्क्वायर रूट कैन बी नेगेटिव बट स्क्वायर इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव यस स्क्वायर मीन सपोज आई आई वांट टू डू द स्क्वायर ऑफ माइनस फोर ओके सो इट्स आंसर विल कम प्लस सिक्सटीन ओनली बिकॉज माइनस फोर इन टू माइनस फोर इट विल बी प्लस सिक्सटीन ओनली एंड इफ आई डू द स्क्वायर ऑफ प्लस फोर ऑल्सो देन ऑल्सो इट विल कम सिक्सटीन ओनली सो स्क्वायर इट विल कम पॉजिटिव ओनली स्क्वायर इट विल कम पॉजिटिव ओनली ऑफ एनी नंबर नेगेटिव हो पॉजिटिव हो उसका स्क्वायर वैल्यू हमेशा पॉजिटिव आएगा वॉट एपन आशीष आशीष Yes, sir. In question number uh, first, second one. Ah. Uh, yes, for question number first, second you, one. You gave answer that uh, the square root of any natural number is always positive. Hmm. So natural so number, natural numbers, who are they? Who are they, son? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These natural numbers' ki family. Ha. Huh. हाँ सर ओके सर आई गॉट इट हाँ ओके ओके सो विल डू द थर्ड वन नाउ ओके इन थर्ड वन व्हाट दे हैव आस्ट शो दैट रूट फाइव कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन द नंबर लाइन नाउ we have to represent under root 5 on the number line okay so for that first we'll draw a rough figure okay to hum log ek right angle triangle yahan pe bana lenge okay right angle triangle ka naam hai a b c what should i take the base of this right angle triangle now so that i should get the hypotenuse as under root 5 what should be the base it should be 2 and what should be the height it should be 1 okay the height should be 1 now you have to draw the number line okay so now we will draw the number line see this is our number line okay we'll mark zero here first this is zero this is one keep the gap of 1 1 cm between two numbers this is 2 this is 3 4 and 5 okay this side it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 okay now 
you have to take the base as 2 so what we'll do we'll start from 0 or yahan pe hum log 2 cm ka distance lenge as the base okay after taking this 2 cm at this point you will draw a perpendicular using your protector you will draw a perpendicular on this perpendicular you will take the distance of 1 cm okay so this is 1 and this distance is 2 now what you will do you will join this point with this point Okay, suppose you have point A, you have point B, you have point C. है. Now, what you will do? You will take distance, distance AC in your rounder. Okay. Take distance AC in your rounder and then what you will do, you will take distance AC and you will draw a chop here like this on the number line. Okay, so this value here, it you will get it as under root 5. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? This is how we will be representing under root 5 on the number line. Yes, for under root 7, we have to take under root 5 and under root 2. First, we will have to draw under root 2. Okay, we will also have to draw under root 5 and accordingly you will take the distance for making under root 7. Okay, now, yes, you have to write, no need to write the procedure. If you write it, that's well and good. But you should know the procedure. If you want to write the procedure, we can write the procedure also. Okay, so what will be there first? draw a number line first step is what draw a number line two and one in under root we have we want under root five that's why we have taken two and one draw a number line first step okay next take distance of 2 cm starting from 0 starting from 0 on right hand side of number line Okay, next third step will be what? What will be the third step? Draw a perpendicular at point B. Okay, draw a perpendicular at point B. Next step will be what? Take one centimeter distance take one centimeter distance on this perpendicular 
okay take one centimeter distance on this perpendicular join point c and a okay after that next step will be what sixth step take distance take distance ac in the rounder and draw a chop on the number line okay so this is the procedure is it clear to everyone now I write this procedure also Yes, you have to write these steps also. Okay, so now next question, it is a classroom activity. Okay, next question is a classroom activity. Okay, now what they have asked us what we have to do in this activity let's see let's understand it first take a large sheet of paper okay you will not do it in cw okay you will do it on a paper and then you will cut that paper and stick it here in the cw first write the question in the cw do this activity on a piece of paper and then you will cut it and stick it here in the cw take a large sheet of paper and construct square root spiral see this is our square root spiral see this is square root spiral okay in the following fashion start with point o and draw draw a line segment op so this is our op segment तो सबसे पहले यहाँ पे हमने अंडर रूट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट किया है ओके देन अंडर रूट थ्री वट विल बी द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू देन दिस इज अंडर रूट टू दिस डिस्टेंस इज वन ओके सो वट विल बी द वैल्यू दिस वैल्यू वट इट विल कम इट विल कम टू ओके देन अगेन टेक अ डिस्टेंस टेक नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल फ्रॉम यर टेक अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ One and then join it here. So this is one. This is two. So what will be this value? Then this value will be under root five. Again, draw an angle of ninety degree here from this point. Okay. This distance is one. Join it here. So under root five plus one. What will be this value? Then this value will be under root six. we have to complete the spiral again it should come back to point o till there we have to do it then draw a 90 degree angle okay take 1 cm on it join it here with the center so this one and this under root 6 how much it will be then it will be under root 7 again draw a 90 degree angle take 1 cm here what will be this value then this will be under root 8 and under root 8 we can write it like this also 2 root 
like this you will complete this spiral this activity is homework to you okay just take the angle of 90 degree take one centimeter on that perpendicular join that point with the center and accordingly get the values under root 5 under root 6 under root 7 under root 8 sir after under root 2 3 you have taken under root 4 under root 4 is nothing but 2 beta under root 4 is 2 okay this activity is homework to you you will complete it you will have to complete this spiral complete spiral Okay, any doubt to anyone? 